sign of Pisces. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for January 2021. Uh, we're going to pull from the spellcasters, then the archangel, uh, an archangel. I always say that archetype, <laughs> archetype deck from Kim Kranz. And I will do a um, Celtic cross general reading for you. So um, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, uh, comments. I appreciate all of you. Let's get started and we're going to call in the divine white light to surround us here while we do this reading. Surround you while you watch this reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guide, higher self, higher power. And we're going to get started. So this is the spellcasting oracle. Spellcasting Oracle for Pisces, January 2021. Nice. Happiness just pops right out. That's nice. And then truth and passion. All right. So I'm going to look in the book because this spellcasting book has magical meanings that they ascribe to all of these words. Um, let's see. Happiness. All right, an event has a very happy outcome. Actively seek out situations that are positive and uplifting. Good news arrives. Happiness is yours and a happy outcome is assured. Nice, 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 nice. Then truth. This means check in and trust your intuition. Someone is hiding something from you. Admit the truth before someone else does live and speak your truth. So you mean all those things. It just it depends on how it relates to you and your timeline. Then we have passion. It says follow your heart. Your passions reveal your life purpose. And a fear of fire stems from a past life. Renewed passion invokes true love. Strong emotions need to be harnessed. All right, so that's what we got. We got something with your life purpose and truth coming out attached to this happiness. So that's really good. That's nice for you. This is Archetype, Archetype deck. Kim Kranz for Pisces, January 2021. Please, Spirit, and thank you. Okay, we're going to shuffle and then we're going to split. Because these are kind of hard to, they are hard to shuffle with like that. All right, Pisces. Nice, the vow. Okay, I see this two ways. So, I see this either as being a soul contract for what you promise to do via your life purpose. Something like that. Some kind of truth coming out. Or... Um, or the vow, or this has to do with your commitment with somebody else. Um, possibly, you know, getting married could be that, but it could also be about finding some truth out in this partnership. And I don't know what kind of truth that is. I just know, you know, there's some kind of truth that's going to come out. The vow, the vow. So we'll put that right there. And let's do your Celtic cross now for Pisces. This is the Rider Waite Tarot. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for Pisces. Ooh, choppy. I think that's good. All right, so let's um, let's first move this over here so I have room. We're going to do the first card, which is the issue or the current situation card. And then the challenge, which they might come out at the same time. Sometimes they do. Well, nope. That's the issue. Yeah, okay. This is the issue. This is the challenge. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody that's sitting in um, their own authentic authenticity, truth that's found through the heart, love, um, emotion, being a good mentor, having that yang energy, so it has to do with action. Then we have... 
the Six of Swords. Interesting. So this card is about moving from rough waters to calmer waters. This can be a state of mindset or it can be an actual physical move. Somebody needing to move because things have gotten hostile. Something like that. All right, let's take a look at the root, the root issue of the King of Cups being here. All right, an indecision. There is an indecision. There is, uh, there's, there's something that you know you have to make a decision on, and um, it's kind of hard to see the outcome right now. So you're at like a, a stalemate. This is a really emotionally charged decision. You have a lot of water in the card. So yeah, it's really emotional. I mean, it may be a passionate decision, something like that. All right, let's look in your past. Past. Knight of Wands, we may have been dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, the knight is telling you that something's coming in pretty fast. You have to watch out for, um, you have to watch out for making sure that you don't make little mistakes because the knight of wands can be a little careless, um, sometimes haphazard. And this was in your past. So maybe there was something done that was done kind of carelessly. It's, maybe he was selfish and didn't seem this decision or what happened and action just didn't seem to keep the best interest of everyone like at heart. Let's look at the now situation, this present moment. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here is your present situation. We have the five of wands and something else popped out nice nice so this is conflict argument something's going down that not everybody agrees about may have a lot of people in on this uh decision that needs to be made i think it's whether to leave or not and maybe like i said maybe it's a mindset but um there's different people with different opinions and some people are just not getting along right now uh, we have Ace of Pentacles as your near future. So this is wonderful. This is talking about an opportunity, a pathway, right? That leads to this opportunity of getting your abundance, getting your pentacles. Um, it's a really great card to see. Don't miss this opportunity. It's not suggesting that you'll miss this opportunity, but um, make sure that you keep your eyes open and your mind open to all possibilities letting you know the spirit and divine protect you and direct you all right let's look at you the you how you're feeling card how are you feeling oh worry ugh worry 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 not a good worry i don't like this worry because it's like feeling trapped it's like feeling trapped and i don't i don't like that energy at all um if it's real to you, it's real. And, you know, yeah, you can have people say, oh, you can get out of your head, though. She can escape. But not when there's some self-delusion there. Not when her eyes are covered and she's tied up. She may not realize yet, at this point, how thin the cloth is and that she can, in fact, step out of this energy and, and this is about kind of being trapped in that energy for a little while. <sighs> and that's, oh, sorry. And that's the feeling right now. So let's get a card for the external circumstances. All right, well, here's the external. Here's the hopes and fears. So here's the external circumstance. It's about a commitment. Once again, this is coming in strong about a commitment. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, this is the external. This is what is affecting all of this stuff. 
Then in the hopes and fears, which I think is a hope because we do have the Ace of Pentacles here touching this card. And this card is about, the Three of Wands is about receiving, about um, going from that Yang energy to Yin energy where you're trying to receive something from the Law of Attraction. So when you're in receiving mode, that's when things come. And that's when you're open to all possibilities, all as long as the intention is for your greater good, open to all possibilities. What is the projected outcome for Pisces? Projected outcome. All right, so we have the Emperor, which we have either an Aries in your situation, or it's that masculine energy, the creator of the foundation. And then we have Ten of Wands, which is not bad because it tells you an end. There will be an end to some burden that lays really heavy on you right now. There will be an end to it. So this this is good. And I think this describes the emperor. Maybe you are, are the one that they're depending on, like people are depending on to be strong and to have the foundation sturdy and don't let things get shook up too much. And maybe that's leaving you in your head a little bit with that eight of swords. Let's get you, so we have end of, burden, end of burdens being your outcome and the emperor, that's really great. He is the king of all kings, right? So one card said, trust your intuition, right? So we have psychic ability, the I. Trust your psychic abilities, your intuition. That was um, came out with the truth card earlier. And then we have money path. And then that's exactly what I said that is. That is a money path. It's a pathway that leads to your pentacles. We have bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. And we have not unsuccessful plans. And it has to do with this main situation. And it may have to do with a commitment that just didn't work out. This could be business or romance, too. Um, so we have Aries. We have Taurus. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, and we have a lot centered around this commitment. And I think the focus needs to be on your pentacles. I think that's what's coming up. That is what's coming up for you. And it might be a brand new commitment. All right, guys. Thank you, Pisces. Um, sending much love and light out to you. Join me for the next one. Bye.